all right, just going to go through the Roman Catholic doctrine of devils, known as the, quote, sin of presumption, unquote. Basically, the Roman Catholic Church teaches it's basically a sin to presume you're saved. In other words, having assurance of your salvation, knowing for a fact that you're saved, is a sin in Roman Catholicism. Why? Because they believe in work salvation. They're self-righteous. They're trying to work their way to heaven. So therefore, you can never really know if you're saved or not, because am I doing enough to basically save myself? It's no different than the Tower of Babel trying to build a tower to heaven. That's all that Roman Catholicism is. It's just a Tower of Babel trying to build a tower up to heaven, working your way into heaven. That's all that it is. But I'm going to show, first of all, uh, and by the way, too, I want to point this out. The Baltimore Catechism, Lesson 30, Question 1183, uh, talks about the sin of presumption. And it basically talks about how it's a rash expectation of salvation uh, without making the proper use of the necessary means to obtain it. In other words, doing all the Roman Catholic traditions of men. So again, that's the Baltimore Catechism, Lesson 30, Question 100, well, sorry, 1183. So it condemns basically assurance of your salvation. But what does the Bible teach? Okay, what does God's Word teach? The Holy Scriptures. Well, first of all, the scriptures teach you can have assurance of your salvation. First of all, if you're truly born again, God promises you the following. First of all, sonship. See John chapter 1 verse 12. Adoption by God. See Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 to 7 and Romans chapter 8 verse 15 to 17. Uh, or sorry, everlasting, everlasting consolation. See 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 16. Forgiveness of sins. Acts chapter 10 verse 43. Forg forgiveness of all sins, past, present, future. Acts chapter 13 verses... 38 to 39. Eternal life, Acts chapter, sorry, eternal life, John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. Not good at reading on a computer. Uh, you will not, there's no condemnation, John chapter 5, verse 24. Never perishing, John chapter 10, verse 28 to 30. Never being cast out, John chapter 6, verse 35 to 40. The Holy Ghost abiding with you forever, John chapter 14, verse 16 to 17. The Holy Ghost will be sealed inside of you, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, and Ephesians 4, 30, and God seals you. Okay, that's 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. Those are some of the things that God promises you if you're truly born again. Now, again, the Word of God teaches you can have assurance of your salvation that you can know that you're saved. Okay, it's called, that's what assurance of salvation is, knowing that you're saved. Uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 19 through 21. If you have a King James Bible, turn there. 1 John chapter 3, verses 19 down to verse 21. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. And beloved, sorry, beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have, then have we confidence toward God. Why? Because your heart is, is wicked. Your heart is sinful. And your heart may condemn you, but you trust in God. And notice how he says too, we know that we're of the truth. Why? It's assurance. Uh, 1 John chapter 5, verses 13 to 14. Another good passage on assurance of your salvation. First John chapter 5, verse 13 to 14. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. You can know that you have eternal life. But according to the Catholic Church, if you presume you're saved, you're somehow in sin. Well, another example of Catholic traditions contradicting the Holy Scriptures. Which is one of many examples. In my whole series of Catholic doctrines of devils, I just show how there, there are many of the doctrines have zero basis and actually contradict scripture. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Assurance of your salvation is the biblical concept. And don't let any non Catholic heretic, any of these conditional security devils or anything like that, tell you that, oh, you, you can't have assurance of your salvation. You have to just, you, you can just never know. That's wicked, okay? You can have assurance of your salvation. You can know that you're saved. And don't let anyone steal your joy away from you because that's what they're, they're just agents of the devil. That's all they're doing. Because Satan wants to corrupt you from the simplicity in Christ Jesus, like it talks about in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse uh, 3 to 4, I believe it is. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.